Hi, my name is Shay Schofield and I'm back again today making my second video on working with the bottle cap images in Photoshop Elements 8. And we're going to get started today by just pulling up what we worked on last time. I'm going to click on File up at the top. I'm going to click on Open Recently Edited File. And since um, the hearts background circles one is what I named it was what we worked on last time I'm just gonna click on that and it'll pull it up okay today we're going to add some heart images on top of these circles and what I want to do is I want to tell you a little bit about flattening um, as you can see over here under our layers here we have all these layers and every image that I created every circle is a different layer and when you flatten what happens is it puts all those layers together into one and you generally don't want to flatten until you're done uh, working with your sheet but since I'm not going to do anything else to these backgrounds but just add on to it I'm just going to go ahead and flatten it now just so that it's easier to work with and I'm going to show you how to do that um, I'll go ahead and click on layer up at the top and then we want to go down to the very bottom see it says flatten image and if you watch over here all these are going to disappear and it's going to go into one there it goes there's my background and it's just shown as one sheet now so we're going to go ahead and add our hearts now and if you look at about the third fourth image down here from the bottom um, your custom shape tool mine is already a heart yours might be a different shape if you uh, right click on that you'll see the different shapes you got rectangle and ellipse and polygon and different ones but I'm going to use the the heart since it's what I want to add so I'm going to just select the heart and then I'm going to go up here to the top mine's already there's a colored box up here yours probably be white might be a different color uh, this is where you select the color of the heart that you want so I'm just going to click on that box and it brings up another one now you can move this little uh, these little arrows up and down this guide bar and it will change the color so I'll just put mine up here on the red and then just click on the color box and you can just move your cursor around and over here on this box it'll say new and current color and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it around until I see the color in the new box that I want my heart to be actually I think I just like the current color so I'm just going to push cancel on there if you see a new color that you like then you would just push OK to select it what I'm going to do is put my cursor over here on one of my circles and I am going to put it up here in the left hand corner and I'm going to hold my mouse button down my left one and I'm going to drag to the right and then I'm going to drag down and as you see as you move your cursor around you can make the heart uh, bigger or smaller and then I'm just going to let go now to move it I'm going to hit my selection tool over here that we talked about it's the first one up here it looks like an arrow and it will select my heart and I can use my arrow keys to nudge it around where I want it to be okay now what we want to do is put an outline around this and so what I want to do is we're going to have to simplify the layer before we can do that and so we're going to go up here and select on the top here layer about down towards the middle it'll say simplify layer you need to click on that okay <clears throat> now we want to put our outline around it so we're going to go up here to let's see edit and it says about halfway down stroke outline in parentheses selection we're going to click on that now I have my width set to 5 px which is 5 pixels you can make it the line thicker or thinner depending on what you like I liked the 5 pixels and then we're going to click on our color box again I want it outlined in white um, like we did last time you can move it around and change your color but I know that the white down here under the box down here the number for white is all F's so I'm just going to enter in a bunch of F's and it changed my new color to white 
and then I'm going to push OK and it changed my color box here to the white that's the color I want. The location is going to be on the outside. You can choose inside, center, or outside. The blending mode is going to be normal and then it's at 100% and then I'm going to press OK. And it has made an outline around our heart as you can see. Now we want to put the heart in each circle again. So we're going to do just like we did last time and just duplicate, dupl make a duplicate of the layer. And like I said, I don't name it. I just put OK. Make sure our selection tool is there. Select it so we can move it. And we're just going to make copies and move it over and center it. That's the simple part. And then we're just going to go on and get all of ours done here. Now about the flattening the image, I want to say you need to be careful because once you flatten an image, you can't unflatten it. And if you're putting... Um, these online like to sell and you don't want people uh, editing it, messing with them, you need to make sure you flatten them before you uh, you know sell the images or send them out. If you don't flatten them people can uh, move your layers around and, and unless you want them to be able to do that but most people will go ahead and flatten them and it just saves it as one big uh, one like one big image they can't separate the layers and such. So what I do is when I'm creating is like when I did the um, when I did the round circle backgrounds I saved that as as um, as a file and then if I flattened it I could have gone back and saved gone ahead and saved this as a flattened image as a file also and then as I add the hearts I can save that. Every time I flatten it I'll maybe do another name and put an F at the end and that tells me that I've already flattened flattened that image or those images together, those layers. Okay, so we're done. We've added all of our hearts here, and what we need to do is just save this, and you can go ahead and flatten this now if you want to. Um, again, we go up here to the, it would be to the layer, is your flatten down here at the bottom if you want to go ahead and flatten that. Um, you know, if you ever wanted to go back, you can. It's nice to have it unflattened and flattened saved, but that's all up to you if you think you're going to use it again. And I'm just going to go up here to hit File, Save As, and I'm just going to save this. I've got it already as Heart Background Circles Edited. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off the edited part, delete it, and then I'm just going to add with hearts. And save that. The next video we're going to learn how to add, I'm going to make alphabets out of these and we're going to add uh, text on each one. So hope you'll be back to watch that. Bye bye.